And so, life begins again, with a renewed sense of destination. Which reality will it be today? Whose reality? There is an instinct to climb, to reach some sort of pinnacle. But is it the destination, or the journey itself, that draws us forward? Curiosity is strong, and destiny beckons. Onward it is. Memory is an oddly circuitous thing, often dancing in its own circles, a snake perpetually eating its own tail. We can sometimes swear we've seen something before, in another life, echoes of another existence, so familiar, and yet, we've never been here before, have we? But there is something almost tangible, something we've known before. Perhaps not in the exact same form, but enough. We shake the cobwebs clean and press forward, allowing ourselves to be surprised by whatever may lurk around the next bend. There will always be places we are not permitted to enter. Doors that will not open for us. Ladders we cannot climb. Sometimes we might even glance an opportunity, gaping wide for the merest of moments. And if we fail to seize that moment while it exists, it might be gone forever. Ships pass in the night. Two molecules temporarily find themselves inhabiting the same space. So many mountains to climb yet so little time. Every house has ghosts, every building is haunted, even a familiar scent, like the roasting of a chicken in an old stove, can trigger all manner of memories and make us believe that we are welcome. Won't we be surprised when we knock upon the building's door to find no one willing to let us inside?
Life is full of ups and downs. Bottomless pits of despair can soon lead to higher and more heavenly places. One can fall a great distance, only to rise much stronger. And as one ascends and struggles to shake themselves free from their own misty blackness, they also free themselves from the hordes of tiny insects that threaten to consume the brain from the inside. Sometimes the way forward is murky, and other times brightly lit, but mainly it lies somewhere in between. It does help, however, to have some kind of path to follow. Otherwise we can find ourselves rudderless and lost. Staying on the straight and narrow can be a challenge at times, but we generally know better than to stray too far to either side, lest we drown in our own indulgence. The relationship between man and nature is brotherly at best, a wicked stepmother at worst. Spat from the womb, we seek solace in new ones. Whichever life we might currently be living, we need somewhere to call home. A part of us envies the creatures of the wild, nestled so warmly inside the forest's belly. If only we could dream our days away and return to the safety we once enjoyed inside our mother's tender confines.